Hello lovely YouTube family, what's going on? The Super Bowl halftime show is one of the greatest performance opportunities for musicians, a chance for them to show off their catalog of music to 100 plus million viewers and surprise us with special guests. With Katy Perry tapped to perform at Super Bowl 49, let's count down the 10 most spectacular halftime performances ever. So, during this video, we're going to take a look at the top 10 most luxurious Pepsi halftime show performances. Are you curious? Then sit back, relax, and watch the entire video. But first, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all of our interesting videos. Number 10. Bruno Mars With only a few years of fame under his belt, Bruno Mars had everything to prove when he stepped onto the halftime stage in 2014. But between his impressive opening drum solo and his even more impressive dance moves, he pulled it off with gusto. Minus a few points for the Red Hot Chili Peppers' eyebrow-raising guest spot, which Bruno proved he didn't need anyhow. Number 9. The Rolling Stones There are two notable things about this performance. The Rolling Stones played on a stage shaped like the band's lips and tongue logo, and the people of Detroit, where that, where that year's game was played, were pissed because no Motown artist was asked to perform. Also, the Stones only did three songs. Three. And one of them was their latest single, Rough Justice. A note to the Rolling Stones, no one wants to hear the new stuff, especially at the Super Bowl. Number 8. Michael Number 7. Justin Timberlake and Janet Jackson Where were you for the most famous wardrobe malfunction in sports history? Yes, the moment Justin Timberlake accidentally revealed Janet Jackson's breast will forever be remembered, with the accidentally aspect endlessly debated. The performance itself was so-so, but this halftime show is easily one of the most memorable on our list, which puts it at number 7. Number 6. Katy Perry, Lenny Kravitz, and Missy Elliott Thanks to the unforgettable and memeable antics of the left shark, this performance will be remembered for years to come. But it was also a technical marvel to behold. Perry arrives on the back of a giant lion puppet while singing Roar, then wound up being dragged around the sky, singing Firework, and riding the More You Know Shooting Star logo. There was lots to enjoy in the middle, namely bringing Missy Elliott on stage to do her thing on three, yes, three of her own songs. The psychedelic 60s pop art color scheme was unforgettable, as was the message that Katie sent. At the Super Bowl, it's a good thing to share the spotlight. Can you even beat Katy Perry? Stay tuned to see who is at number one. We are almost there. But first, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all of our videos. Number five, Beyonce. You could say that the arrival of Beyonce 2.0, the one who slays with extra hot sauce in her bag, happened when she was the musical headliner at Super Bowl 47 at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans. From then on, she ascended to the throne vacated by the King of Pop as the greatest living all-round entertainer on the planet. And she did it all while staging a Destiny's Child reunion that showed she could still be a team player too. Number 4. You 2 Less than five months after the events of 9-11, U2 took the stage for a somber, uplifting Super Bowl halftime performance. The band opened with Beautiful Day, and as Bono and the gang played Where the Streets Have No Name, a scrolling backdrop showed the names of all the victims who died in the attacks, with Bono opening his jacket to reveal the stars and stripes in its lining as the song ended. The band shenanigans like the last album's giveaway with Apple are forgiven, given this performance. Number 3. Jennifer Lopez and Shakira The Battle of the Latina Divas was a fiercer face-off than the one between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Chicago 49ers. Both the Bronx-born Lopez and the Colombian star Shakira brought muy caliente stuff to Miami's Hard Rock Stadium in an electric halftime show. After guest appearances by Bad Bunny with Shaki and J Balvin with J Lo, the whole thing ended with an epic dance-off in which their hips most certainly didn't lie. Number 2. Lady Gaga this technologically advanced performance included a literal constellation of drones, a dive off the roof of the stadium, and dancers tossing glowing spears that looked like a weapon out of Star Wars. There was even a keytar and a circular piano like the one at the Mos Eisley Cantina. Lady Gaga has always been like Ziggy Stardust's bratty younger sister, and that was the theme she stuck to throughout, from her diamond phone for telephone to the crystal orb she brandished to the audience. But we never got more than that polished public persona. Gaga did hits like Poker Face, Born This Way, and Bad Romance without notable, without notable reinvention or retooling in the way that Madonna, Prince, and Beyonce did with their old gems. Number 1. Prince 
When it comes to putting on a show, no one can top Prince's electric 2007 performance. The iconic musician shredded his way through cover songs like Queen's We Will Rock You and Bob Dylan's All Along the Watchtower before breaking into Purple Rain, as it quite literally began raining on the stadium crowd. The result? The funniest and most epic halftime performance to date, and our personal favorite. We hope you enjoyed this video. The comment section is all yours. Let us know which Pepsi halftime show is your favorite. We hope to see you soon on our channel, the 10 most luxurious around the world.